pleasure day. Really? That's awesome. You want to hear about my day? Well, I asked Aunt Sally why everyone was wearing black. Such a sad color. Then Uncle Will came over, and I asked him why everyone was so sad. He said he wouldn't tell me. And he asked me if I was okay. I said, I'm angry, because no one will tell me what's going on. I said, if you won't tell me that, I'm just going to go ask my mom and your daddy. Then Aunt Sally started to cry. What's going on, Roscoe? I can't find my mommy or daddy, and everyone's talking about me. Why won't they tell me what's going on? At least I have you. Dear, she has no clue where she's going. What should we do? You know what risks come with taking her in. William, I'm appalled that you would even consider leaving that little girl out of our family. She's lost everything she has. We're her next of kin. We know what's best for her. We need to stand up and do what's right here. We've always wanted children, and... Don't try to spin this around on me. I've always wanted our own child, not someone else's. Besides, it wasn't even our sister's child. What if she finds out? Do you know what that would do to her? Every child finds out eventually. Why waste her time? Well, she doesn't need to know. Not yet, nor ever. She can find out about her parents later on. One little lie. That's all it would take to get a perfect, happy little girl. Everything we've ever wanted. Is that how you want to live your life, going day by day, telling a lie? I don't know if I can do that. Besides, it's not like we need the fortune. Who are you? Just one little lie. I don't know if I can do that. Go day by day lying to someone I love for the rest of my life. Please, for me. You know I can't have children. It's all I ever wanted. Can you just try for me? Can you believe they left that little girl that much money, though? I mean, come on. Couldn't they leave us anything? You idiot. She doesn't get the money until she's 18. Whoever takes care of her, though, they get their own part of the will. Just think of it. Me, you, Bella, that little girl, and all that cash. We can get rid of the girl, take the money. What do you think, Bella? Well, I could use a new car. Think about it. We'll put the girl in a home. Mama's got a new pair of shoes. We just have to suck up to that little brat. Well, there is one problem. What if her dad finds out? Tony. Are you, like, really stupid? We're at his funeral. He ain't coming back. That was right, Tony. There ain't nothing like life after death. Krista, you're telling me you didn't know? Well, I heard that Alice was adopted. Her birth mother died of complications, but her birth dad? Well, who knows? He could be looking for her. And that's not worth it. No money's worth an angry dad. Then grow a pair. Bella, talk some sense into him. Come on, Tony. He ain't coming back for his little bastard. Now, we've got the perfect plan. We put her in a home, and we get the money. I mean, don't you feel bad? I sort of like the kid. No. no. <laughs> oh, my dear Alice, this world is so dark, filled with people who wish to do you harm. You must remember, that no matter who comes along, that we share bond, mother and daughter. There is an unspoken agreement of love that we share. Can you hear me, dear? I'm here. I'll always be watching out for you. There's so much I wanted to tell you. There's so much I wanted to experience with you. So many things that I didn't get to show you. My baby, I'm so sorry. I never wanted to leave you. such a young age, there's so much about this world that you don't know yet. Be happy, my love. Be happy and live a long life. I wish I could have told you the truth. I wanted to wait until you grew older, but I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. Alice, honey, I'm not your mother, baby. Your real mother? She's dead. Your birth father is here. I love you, Alice. And all I want is for you to be happy.